Hi folks and welcome back to Rami Property Group. My name is Phil. Today on the channel we're going to be talking about one of the most important things to consider if, you're, if you want to invest in property. And that is, do you already have funds that you are not yet accessing? I'm talking specifically today about the use of pensions, your own pension, uh, and the one the pension that your employer has been paying into to help fund your property journey. So, what does that actually physically mean? So in the UK, there are several ways uh, that a pension provider can provide you with um, uh, interest on your pensions. Uh, the, the traditional way is your employer pension or your people's pension or the pension that people pay into on your behalf that comes straight out of your salary or wage and has been doing so since about 2012. Um, uh, alternative ways are SIPs and or uh, voluntary contribution pensions, uh, which you may or may or may not be paying into. However, all these pensions have one thing in common. You can't really earn from them or access them until you age 55 or over. So if you're not yet in that position, how then can you access that money? Um, also, in that time frame, uh, the pension providers themselves earn a third of your profit, which means that the money that you've saved and invested and you have added into your pension, which is growing throughout the uh, throughout your uh, lifespan, uh, is being earned from by one third by an organisation that in reality takes very little risk, puts in very little effort uh, and earns a third of the profit. So specifically, there is one type of pension which the UK HMRC and government have launched um, no, it's not a new thing, but they have launched for people to actually take control of their own pensions. And this is more commonly known as a SAS or an SSAS or uh, in its fullest term, a small self-administered scheme. Now, this is for contributing companies and directors to be able to manage their own pension pots. So what if I am not uh, a company director or I do not own my own business? Well, why don't you? Uh, it costs very little money to launch a company in the UK. Uh, and if the only thing you did was launch it to, for, your, for your pension provision, then I don't see there's any rules against that. Um, so how can you then use it? Well, a SaaS, you can lend over half, up to half the money for the purposes of the business. And you can invest directly into assets. So what does that mean? It means you can buy an asset using the money from your pension, um, as long as there's a, it's done in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a relevant trust or scheme, um, and you can earn from that money. The key question that I then had when I was first looking at it was, does the money all go straight back into my pension? No, is the answer. Um, if you uh, borrow from your pension fund or your pension trust in a SaaS to a business, and you buy something from that business, you have to agree to return the money into, into your SAS pension plus a, a set rate of interest. And that interest can be as little as 1%. Um, it can be as much as you want, but it can be as little as 1%. It can be half a percent. Uh, however, um, what if you've invested in a property which is averaging yields are anywhere between 10 or if you do it properly and you add some value to a property, 30%. Well, you take the money that needs to be paid back as capital to the, to the, to the uh, pension. You take the interest, uh, uh, which is the interest in any capital provision you've promised. Uh, and then the remainder is the profit for your company. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, if you've been paying in for, into a pension since 2012, and maybe you've got other pensions that you are not accessing, it means you could be sat here right now under the age of 55, um, with funds that you can, that you can't yet access, but you could access with very little impact to your day to day life right here, right now, which could make you money in the meantime. Um, so I hope that's been useful. If you would like to know any more information about SaaS, there are plenty of SaaS providers. If you want to know what I'm doing with my SaaS, or you want to know anything about the investment schemes that Rami Property hold, please do get in touch. Uh, you can get in touch with any of the uh, below media or just comment in the, in, the, in the box below your experiences of pensions and or sasses, uh, ask questions and I'll get around to as many as I can. In the meantime, I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.